Okay guys, you join me here inside of the 2024 Cadillac CT4V Blackwing and oh boy has this car been an absolute joy to drive around this past week. Now if you haven't checked out my full tour review, definitely go watch that. Uh, we're going to take you on a fun POV drive today. I'm going to do a full just the sound drive, so stay tuned for that, but I want to take you on a quick tour of the exterior before we head off on this drive. A little bit more of an informational drive for this particular session. We have this gorgeous coastal blue metallic paint color out here is an additional option on the CT4V Blackwing. Some gunmetal dark blackish gray wheels, 18 inch wheels. We are running winter tires on this. It wasn't my choice, it was Cadillac's choice, unfortunately. I love how this thing looks. It's such an aggressive uh, little sedan here. I almost want to think of it as like a grand coupe in terms of its size because this river seats are so tiny. Really cool air ducts and air vents around here you can get an aero package as well let's take a quick look at the rear seats see how small they are you can see the back of the bucket seats there we have the black wing itself in the back black wing badges quad exhaust tips this thing sounds really good actually for this 3.6 liter v6 it's a little windy out it's on top inside we have an akg audio system on here and these seats, I have to say, just before we even get started on this drive, are awesome. <laughs> They're so nice, so comfortable, a lot of bolster and support. There's a massage on here. I'm going to go through the settings real quick. We have massage, we have back and cushion bolsters, and our lumbar support. So a lot of adjustment on here as well. Really like that from Cadillac. And we have a whole bunch of drive modes before we go head off here. So we can change our drive modes with our mode selector right here. So we can see we have our My Mode, which is mildly customizable. Then we have Tor sport track which is a little bit crazy snow ice and then you have another i guess my mode which is your v mode so in v mode you can change pretty much everything from your steering suspension for the magna ride dampers your engine um brake feel engine sound i like to have engine sound and track sometimes it gets a little bit aggressive confirms and your ptm i actually prefer to change my ptm which is our performance traction management you can do it through there you have a button here and you have the awesome ptm dial on our steering wheel here which you can see on the gauge cluster so it's inactive right now then we have wet dry sport race one and race two and all this is doing is kind of changing the traction parameters of that rear e diff back there and it really allows for some slip for some fun and all while also being controlled and um very balanced as well so it has a nice blend to everything that's going on there we have apple carplay on here as well um so pretty much all of the good it's so pretty much all the goodies you need on here um very configurable gauge cluster so this is the track view we have right here you can change it to pretty much whatever you want in any mode which is pretty nice so i can unlink it to the drive modes i just want to show you the tour theme here we also have if it loads six a little bit sometimes sometimes sport theme which might be my favorite actually, even over track. And then we just saw the track one. I think I'm gonna leave it in sport. You can even make them actually a kind of a calm screen so you can kind of remove um, all of the information you have around the screen, which is pretty sweet. Um, otherwise you can have a whole bunch of different information from those side cards you can see here. I like my V performance gauges, you have trip computer, and you can change all of these dials to all this different information here. So I really love the um, amount of customizability Cadillac is offering you here and it's usable information. It's not garbage like nonsense you can see your um what's going on with the diff your tire temperatures as pressures as well as your you have a boost pressure on this one you can change your differential temp it's really cool stuff going on in here um and let's head out on a drive of our 10 speed automatic gearbox i might turn on my ac seats because it's a little bit um warm in here right now and we can head off we have our ptm right now and oh god sport we are right in an, an open parking lot let's see how fun these winter tires are in a circle <laughs> oh, this thing likes to slide around so easily. And now we're off. So I'm going to actually put this in tour mode for you guys right now. Um, and tour mode, I still have my... I'm going to put the PTM in normal for a second. And the tour mode is the softest setting here. So the, the dampers are going to go into their comfort mode. And this Magnaride 4 system is really fantastic on the CT4V Blackwing. Um, it's a really, really good damper control setup it, and for the i think they've changed it so it's a little bit more softer and comfort and even more aggressive in tracks so you have a nice bandwidth of what's going on there and 
when you are in comfort mode, it just like floats around. It's so soft and absorbs those bumps perfectly. It does get definitely a little bit stiffer in truck mode. A little bit too aggressive, I think, on sometimes, but it works well. And remember, we are in tour mode, so this is the least aggressive mode we have on the CT4. And we have some <laughs> real metal paddle shifters here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that on camera. Um, this 10 speed is pretty good. You have that manual and drive modes right there, which is a nice touch. Um, generally, like I said, it's a pretty good gearbox. Um, you, when you're kind of playing with it most of the time, you're really never in those um, higher gears. Let's just head out onto the highway here. This thing is a bundle of fun and joy. It, it's it, it's a really good handling car, and it sounds. It sounded a lot better than I honestly was expecting it to come into this and sound it. It's really cool for this 3.6 liter twin turbo V6. Um, lots of pops and bangs. Popping it back into tour mode here on the highway. There we go, we got that off there. We'll turn our PTM back into inactive. And just a quick discussion here. This car is an absolute blast to drive around. Um, yes, the six-speed manual is the one you want to get with the CT4V Blackwing. Why? It's the Tremec unit. It's a fantastic gearbox. And also, with the six-speed manual, you get titanium, I believe, connecting rods in the engine, which is going to allow it to rev a little bit freer and a little bit higher and quicker with that kind of manual connection you have there it's a little bit of a better combo than this 10-speed unit this is an option it's a two thousand three hundred dollar option i believe as well so you're paying for the 10-speed so if you do want it you can get it but i honestly would just go with the six speed unfortunately my press fleet did not have it at the time so i, I couldn't really get it but i'm not going to complain because the chassis and the dynamics of this car are still fantastic so how is it out here on the highway before we get into some fun driving um it's pretty good honestly um, the, the steering is very direct and heavy on the CT4V Blackwing. It's a fantastically weighted steering. You kind of just see how direct it is on the highway. We are running winter tires here, so it's a little bit louder in this cabin than I guess it typically would be um, on some more typical tires you would have. Otherwise, it's a pretty fun car. We don't have anything like Super Cruise on this one. We do have Adaptive Cruise on this one, which I can turn on just like that. It's on now, so adaptive cruise braking is available. I have a lane keep assist I can turn on and off from this button right here, which is a quick access button. Uh, let's see how that works. Ah, it's actually working pretty well. It's keeping me in the lane. It's not supposed to be one of those like steering curve assist modes, but um, it does work pretty well, which is nice. I don't mind it, not too bad. <laughs> oh, this thing is so much fun. You kind of hear those, when you're kind of doing the shifts in the higher end V modes. You got a little bit of a burble and crack from the exhaust. I actually learned that some of that is actually fake engine noise, which mildly disappointed me, but um, a lot of it is real on the outside as well, which is nice. You do have a launch control mode. You have a line lock mode, so you can do burnouts on this thing, warm up your rear tires if you need to. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff going on with this car, which I really, really like. A little bit of a launch here. <laughs> it gets up to speed very quickly, I will say so myself. Um, almost 475 horsepower, I believe, around that range. <laughs> this exhaust is just crazy. So to the people who are saying that you should only get the six speed because it's more fun, the 10 speed's still pretty fun. Yes, it's not the same true kind of raw experience you're getting, but <laughs> it's still a fun um, way to drive this car. Um, like I said, it's pretty good in a straight line, but the real thing with the CT4V Blackwing is kind of getting in those corners and feeling how that magnetic um, suspension's kind of adjusting to the different road movements and different undulations in the road as well as being able to play around with the different um, performance traction management modes and seeing how the car reacts to it and how you react to it as well
Yeah, this thing is a beast getting onto the highway as well. Really is good at putting its traction down. Let's get it out of its performance shift mode there. It's really good at putting traction down um, with that E-diff. And again, we're only in the dry PTM mode. Actually, I think I was in sport there. And once you get into the more race modes, it gets a little bit more tail happy, but I think those are the best modes to kind of get all that traction down um, to the road. Again, I wish I had a more aggressive performance tire on this thing, but we are stuck with the winter tires for right now. And it's still with the winter tires. I have to say it does play very, very well um, with the chassis and with how the car is moving all the time. Now, while I do have you guys out here on the highway, I do want to talk about the audio system in here, which yes, the exhaust sounds great. Even the pumped in audio sounds from the exhaust sounds a little bit good, but the AKG audio system on this CT4 V Blackwing is actually really impressive. Um, I It's one of my favorite audio systems. It's pretty close to like the BMW, even just Harman Kardon level systems. And those are, I, I hold to a high regard because they're generally really good. Um, this has been pretty good. It's not as good as the Bose system that I believe I had in the CT4 or CT5 V Sport um, that I had last fall, but it's a pretty good system. Um, just to have a little bit of a look around the system, we're gonna play a song in just a second, but if you go into your settings here, you can adjust a few things. Sorry, I see a corner in this car. I need to like actually drive with it. <laughs> um, so we can go to our apps up here and I believe we can go to audio in here and that's where we can kind of control a lot of the stuff going on with the audio settings in the CT4B Blackwing. And we have our tone settings here. So we can adjust our bass, mid-range, treble, and surround sound levels. Um, I like that you're able to change that. You also have fade and balance levels as well as a sound mode. Um, so you have normal and rear. That's pretty much it with all of our sound settings, which honestly is not too bad. Um, some other more higher end systems will offer like different sound profiles or like concert halls or that type of stuff. This is a pretty good um, amount of adjustment though, I think. So let's play this quick track and I'll let you guys have a listen to yourself. Hey guys, got a little bit of a taste of the audio system in here. Pretty good, right? I think it has good, just general, um, a bandwidth of good sound levels. The basses are pretty clear. The higher, higher notes are pretty clear. There isn't too much distortion going on in it. It's pretty of a clear system. I mean, you do have more bass heavy songs. It sounds really good as well. Um, even with more vocal heavy songs, I think it sounds really good as well. And if you, if you, if you are in like the more aggressive um, driving mode setting here, it does still have um, good modes around it where you can still hear what's going on with the exhaust and all the stuff going on in the system as well. So I do like that. And I think the more important conversation we need to have while driving the CT4V Blackwing is the one that these vehicles are disappearing. Um, we really don't have many rear wheel drive performance vehicles left on the market right now in the US. Um, and the CT4V Blackwing, I think is definitely one that's gonna be high on the marks of being a, just a fantastic vehicle in terms of great driving dynamics. It's an American vehicle as well. And I think it ha offers really impressive driving dynamics for something that's not German or Japanese. Sure, you can go out and get an IS500, for example, and it's gonna give you pretty good fun. You have a V8 under the hood, similar price range to this. Um, but I think the chassis on this car is just a little more dynamic in the sense that the, the IS500, it's going to be a little bit more um, refined. It's an older platform. It's a bigger V8 under the hood. Um, you can't get a manual either. And I think that's the other big selling point of this V Blackwing is you can still get a stick with this and it comes standard, which is a really great option here. <laughs> 